from Las Cruces. I am currently sitting in my car. I am about to get on the road for the day. I'm going to do some exploring around Las Cruces. I've been here for a couple days and have spent some time in coffee shops talking to people. But I really haven't had a lot of time to poke around. I was really hoping it would be not rainy this morning, but as you can hear, it's drizzling. So, oh well. Make the best of it. Um, it does mean that my plans are going to change, though. I wanted to go to the White Sands National Park, but, um, I just really don't want to go hiking in the rain, so it just means I have to come back, which is okay. Um, more than okay, because I wanted to already, I, unsurprisingly, to you, because I know I've talked about it a lot, I'm so in love with New Mexico. Okay, but I'm talking right now mostly because I'm letting everything dry. I have um, disinfected, basically, everything I touch in the front part of my car. And I've had Clorox wipes in my car this whole trip. I've probably used them twice, which is not super great. Um, but with the coronavirus um, spreading and now being a pandemic and um, growing, I am trying to be extra mindful of the risks I have for myself, but also sharing with more populations that are, are, I guess, populations that are more vulnerable than me. Um, so, since some of you have been asking, I wanted to talk really quickly about what my plan is for um, COVID-19. Hi there. I gotta come to you from the beyond for a second because right now I launch into a very long rambling explanation of my plan with We the Voters for COVID-19. It essentially, when I filmed this, was to move forward as long as I could go, as far as I could go, um, while being able to do still do so safely. About 12 hours after I filmed this, my plan instantly shifted, and I've been off the grid, actually, in a farm in Northern California for about three weeks now. It just became increasingly clear that not only was it a risk to my own safety and my own health, but it was becoming a rather large public health risk. Plus, with all of the shelter-in-place orders going into place, um, it was making me near impossible for me to actually do my job, which is talking to people and going where they hang out and, you know, trying to get a sense of what an area is like. When no one is hanging out, everyone's staying at home, I can't do my job. So... I got off the road, drove all the way to Northern California, where I've been staying put in a cabin, you can see it behind me, with no internet and very limited cell service for about three weeks. In that time, I have managed to write a lot of the book that will be coming once this project is all complete. I've also been working on the podcast plan for something launching very, very soon. Can't wait to officially announce it once everything's a little closer. And then getting a bunch of essays and social media posts, etc. queued up um, to share more of the journey that I now that I've had a time kind of to reflect on my on the weeks and months I've spent on the road. So very excited about all of that. By the time you see this, I'll be in Berkeley, California. I'm staying with some family for another few weeks while we kind of continue to see how COVID-19 develops and I will be back online. So you should be able to expect regular updates from me, essays, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, et cetera, um, while I'm stationary, thinking about things I've heard on the road, reflecting on stories I've heard and um, asking questions. Cause you know me, I always have a million questions. <laughs> so I think that's the big update. I didn't want to not post this vlog because I really want to show you New Mexico. It is so freaking beautiful. And I also wanted to show you the trip off the road because that also was really beautiful. But it felt like it was a little tone deaf to just post the vlog as is and not explain how everything has changed um, since I filmed it. So without further ado, let's get back to it. And then I'll pop in a little bit later in the video to kind of walk through the, the plan for getting back on the road. So that's kind of where I'm at. I know this has been long and rambling, so A plus if you've made it through, but consider this your reminder. Wash your hands, don't touch your face. I'm actually really bad at that. I've just did that a lot, but I'm also learning. I'm trying my best. Um, I think that's all we can really do at this point. So, all right. Um, happy weekend. I'm off. 
truthful. guys hello good morning from las cruces i'm about to hit the road it's starting to clear up but it's still cloudy and a little drizzly but i wanted to show you this crazy overlook i found it is so beautiful <sighs> incredible every single turn i love it here First of all, um, I have just made it back to Route 66. <sighs> that drive was gorgeous. It was so stunning. Um, I'm really enjoying myself, to be honest. Uh, so, kind of, I wanted to take a second to talk through a couple things. First of all, I passed through a um, border control security checkpoint. Um, probably about 45 minutes or so outside of Las Cruces. Um, it was really fast like I was probably the whole thing took probably about two or three minutes but it was surprising I mean I guess it doesn't I I don't know if I don't think I should have been surprised but like I was on this little two-lane road you got diverted off it they like took a photo of the front of my car took a photo of the back of my car I pulled in I talked to a um officer and then probably about two minutes later he was like yeah you're good to go and then um I went on um, but it was interesting to me because I guess I was far enough away from the border that I hadn't even thought about it I haven't um, seen anything like that before but it just like sparked some curiosity to me I want to know how those work I want to know like um, what it takes to like work there I want to know like kind of what a day in the life looks like so I've been debating this thing I'm trying not to touch my face and I realize now how much I touch my face um, in these videos, but I, um, have been thinking a lot as I've been driving about how I want the podcast to look. Now that it's becoming more and more real that I'll probably spend a couple weeks off the road, um, I'm going to have a lot more time to devote to the podcast and preparing it for you to listen to in April. Um, and one of the ideas I've been bouncing around is this concept of, like, a day in the life. So, um, like... You know, 
here is an, a person who works at Border Control. Let's use that as an example. Like, let's follow them around for a day, see what it's really like to work there in, like, these jobs that, like, we may not know a lot about or may be controversial in some way, and then get perspectives from both sides kind of about the job and about its impact in our communities and part of our culture and stuff like that. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool. I think it'd be interesting. I think back to the lobsterman that I spent time with um, when I was in Maine, and I really wish I would have done a little more of an official thing with him. Um, so, let me know what you think. I'm kind of leaning towards it, as not for every episode, but at least for some of them. Um, I'm envisioning, like, what if I spent a day, like, you know, working alongside a farmer or a rancher? Like kind of these jobs that like we know exist but like you don't really many people don't have a day-to-day experience with them um I don't know I think it could be cool so yeah anyway um I am outside of Albuquerque in Los Lunas I've officially met right back up with Route 66 and now I'm heading over towards Gallup and then I'll dip off the trail um for my small town of the evening Um, I'm thinking more and more about whether or not I'm going to get off the road completely, but I'm going to kind of sit with it today and see how I feel tomorrow. So, anyway, ah, that's it. No big conclusion. Sorry. It's a little awkward. God. Ah, someday these won't be awkward. I hope. Because, man, I feel like I, I feel like I can't do it. Someday. Anyway. So that's a wrap on New Mexico for now. We'll get back to it when I get back on the road. Um, So I figured right now, before I kind of show you Arizona and California on my way into where I've been sheltering in place for the past few weeks, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the plan to return to the road. So the second it's safe to do so, I essentially want to make my way back down south to Route 66. So I will cover... um, the San Francisco Bay Area, and then a small town in like that mid-range of California before heading back down to Gallup. I'll do interviews in Gallup, finish my interviews in New Mexico before heading west over, sorry, I, my directions are not very good apparently. Heading west, I do know which way Arizona is. Heading west from New Mexico into Arizona where I will continue to trace Route 66, dipping down for Phoenix and Tucson as originally planned before finishing Route 66 in LA and then continuing on to Hawaii. That's kind of the original plan. It's what I would like to stick to as close as possible, finish Route 66. I've been having a really good time and I have found it actually very meaningful to travel this long stretch of American highway that so many travelers have have done before me. And I think it's a story that I would like to see out before continuing on through the rest of the country. Um, That will finish off two more states, so then for the remaining 21 states, I'll essentially start wiggling my way back east before ending in um, southern Georgia at the end of this whole long journey. Now, it's really unclear, unfortunately, when this journey will recommence, Um, and I think we all can relate to that uncertainty as we're all under different shelter-in-place restrictions, or um, otherwise have had our lives impacted by this pandemic. And obviously, I do not want to put myself at risk, nor do I want to put anyone at risk. So I'm trying to be very mindful of public safety and public health while making these plans. So for now, there are no firm dates to return to the road. 
Um, but I'm going to do everything I can to keep the rest of the project, the podcast, the book, etc., moving forward um, in this stationary time. So if you have any questions about We the Voters or the project, etc., and you are confused about my plans or the trip to the road or something I've talked about or shared or whatever, um, feel free to get in contact with me. You can email me at we the voters project at gmail.com. It's also down in the um, info box of this video if you want to just click that link. Um, and I'm happy to kind of explain where I'm coming from, answer your questions, or just chat because I know we're all looking for a little bit more uh, communication these days. So, uh, that's it. Without further ado, I want to show you the stunning views of Arizona and California, and then um, I'll come back to you soon. I have a couple cool ideas for videos as I prep to get back on the road, um, taking you a little bit further behind the scenes of my setup, etc. So, until next time, onward. <laughs> Thank you.